Happy Wednesday. Welcome back to Tech Talks. So on Monday, I was at the gym and I was talking with a good friend and I was talking to him about something about life and he said, Ashley, let me pause you right there. He said, I can see it in your face and I can see it by the way and I can hear it by the way that you're talking. And he said, you right now are focusing so much on the aspect of where you were struggling in rather than asking yourself the question, how can I do it? And he is, Dorns, he's a very inspiring person and a phenomenal business leader. So thank you, Dorn, for saying those words. And so what I wanna come on here and talk about today is changing your mindset and changing how you view business problems or your business struggles and reframing the way that you are saying, or not saying, the way that you are viewing them. And I thought when he said those words to me, I've been pondering over it for the past two days now. And I've really been thinking about is how that relates, not just in my personal, but also my business life. And, you know, I feel like when you are talking with customers or, you know, you're looking at different areas is a lot of the conversations are, you know, what are you struggling in? What is, you know, and also like, what is your vision or what, whatever it might be. And I've really, it's, it's really dawned on me and it hit on me that, you know, we shouldn't, because when we take all of that energy and focus on areas that we are struggling in, you know, that's, you produce or you, you not produce, but you um, really, you know, attract, that's the word I'm looking for, attract the energy that you put out. So if you're sitting there looking and talking about all of the areas that you're struggling in or just focusing so much on your struggles, then how are you supposed to continue to grow and how are you supposed to get over that? And obviously I know it's like, you know, hey, where are you struggling and let's help. And I, where I'm going with all of this today is to get rid of the word struggle. I don't, I don't know if you can see it, but I put it on, on the whiteboard where, and, and it says is stop using the word struggle and start asking yourself, how can I do this? And so when we're talking about business is, you know, a lot of times the conversations and even providers, the conversation is, you know, okay, what areas are you struggling in? Where are you not, you know, getting the bang for your buck, what's going on? And you know, the question we really should be asking is, where do you wanna be and how can, and how can you get there? And so I feel like, you know, from the aspect of, you know, especially for when you're in IT is, for example, you know, customer, customer experience. It's been down, it's lacking. Um, and whether that be, you know, and is it because of the tools that you're using? Are your customers not able to effectively communicate with you? Whatever it is and wherever the issue lies is you should be asking yourself instead of focusing on, okay, we're struggling in this, we're struggling in that, we're struggling in this, is how can I get to a better customer experience? And then you start looking at those things and really reshaping and reframing how you are how we were looking at different problems or issues is going to go a long way because then you're going to see you're going to see those better results and you are going to be able to get where you want to be and i've kind of said this before you know is like look at from a to c look at your current environment and where you want to be and then let's look at the in between and so when you focus, and I, I was reading a book the other day and he said, and the author said is oftentimes businesses, they focus so much on where they are struggling that they can't focus on where they are excelling or what they're good at. And it kind of translates even to people. I mean, I'm 100%, you know, um, a part of that is I've, you know, sometimes they focus so much on, oh, 
you know, what can I do better and what can I be better in? And I should be asking myself, you know, how can I be better? And how can I get to these different places rather than just focusing so much on the different struggles? And so where I'm going with this is just take out the word struggle and really reframe how you are thinking and what you're thinking about in terms of whether that be business and also translates into personal life as well. But you know, if you're an IT director and you feel like you, you know, things are not going right or whatever it is, is just ask yourself, how can I do this? And how can I get to where I'm visioning? Or, you know, how can I get to the company's vision? Um, you know, whether whether that be, you know, enhanced, like I said before, enhanced customer experience or, you know, your company's really trying to look at a heightened security posture. Whatever it might be is the question of the day is how can I get there? And so I really just wanted to share that because it has really had those words have been very impactful on me, especially these past two days. And it's and I've been thinking about it because I'm, you know, I'm a part of it that, you know, I and I really realized is you can't keep focusing and you can't keep focusing on the struggles because that is where it's negative energy. And so that is where all of your energy is being sucked out and all of your focus is on that. And so when you really change the way that you are framing your words and the way that you speak is in looking at things, then you're going to not only attract that positive energy, but you're going to get better results. And so with that, happy Wednesday. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I would love to know what your thoughts are on, you know, the reframing or, you know, just asking or if you have any questions for me. And so with that, have a great week.